All right, so one more example here using uh, sum and difference identities to evaluate a trig function. And here we're going to find the value for cosine of pi over 12. Um, and again, uh, kind of the tricky part is how to break this up. I think, let's see, one way we could break this up, you know, and again, to me, to get pi over 12, that's kind of a, you know, a small number. I need a couple angles that are close together. Well, let's see, uh, 4 pi over 12 minus uh, 3 pi over 12. 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12, that would give us 1 pi over 12. And well, let's see, cosine of 4 pi over 12, that's really the same thing as pi over 3. Uh, 3 pi over 12, we can reduce that to pi over 4. And I know how to evaluate, uh, you know, cosine and sine at the angle pi over 3 and pi over 4. So this seems like a good, uh, a good way to write it. I'm going to use this bottom identity now. It says you have cosine of something minus something. So it says I can write that as cosine of the first thing, pi over 3, times cosine of the second one, which is pi over 4. Again, you just kind of forget all about the plus or the minus in there. Um, excuse me, you forget about the positive and negative when you're just plugging it in, okay? So you just use positive pi over 3 and positive pi over 4. Let me clarify that. Um, and again, there's a negative in between, so, okay, here we are thinking about the negative. But it says if there's a negative in between, we use the positive. So I've got to put plus. And then it says just take sine of the first one and uh, sine of the second one. So we'll get sine of pi over 3 times sine of pi over 4. And again, now it's just unit circle stuff. Let's see, cosine of pi over 3, um, that's going to be, I believe, positive 1 half. Cosine of pi over 4 is going to be root 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 3, that's going to be root 3 over 2. Um, sine of pi over 4 is going to be um, simply root 2 over 2. So it looks like we get square root of 2 plus root 3 times root 2 is going to be root 6. Again, we have our denominator, 2 times 2, which is 4. So again, we've just simply used uh, this difference identity for cosine to evaluate you know, a, 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 a trig function, to evaluate cosine of pi over 12. Again, that's one I certainly don't have memorized off the top of my head. But I can deduce it without too much effort, so long as I remember that identity.